Hold on a second. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Okay, sorry about that. My baby's on the loose. He's crawling around. He went in the pantry. But, okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on uh, do-it-yourself um, Kool-Aid pickles. Mm, okay. I should have been to do this video. Oh, wow, they're delicious. Look. I just thought about it. Can y'all see that? Hold on. Okay. Hopefully this video just picked up where I left off. I had to come over here by the window where it had some more natural lighting. So, but like I was saying, I just thought about it now that I'm about to eat the last pickle that I forgot to do the video. But here is a piece of it. Look at that. It was so good. Look at the jar. There's one more in there. Like these, these things are so good. I can't wait to make some more. Let me fish and get this last one out of here. Come here. Come on to me, baby. So mm. So juicy. But look, so the pickle's red, and um, I think, what I do, I did strawberry and um, cherry mixed together, and this is how it looks. Now, it's really red, but like I said, I don't know how many, it's been a couple weeks now since I first did them, and the longer that they sat in that, that Kool-Aid mixture, the better they got, like for real, it tastes like. It tastes like a um, Charlie Rancher. Like, I don't know about you, but like back in the day when I was a kid, we used to take our pickles and bite the top off and then stick a Jolly Rancher in it. Like, that's what it tastes like. It's good. So, I think the next one I'm going to try is um, the green apple flavor or watermelon. I know y'all let me know what y'all think I should try. And I'll try it and do it and let you know what it uh, tastes like. And again, sorry for the late follow-up i've been super busy i have a lot going on and hopefully i'll be able to tell you guys more about it later anyways until next time stay you stay beautiful and stay unique bye